It's an unusual case. Lacey Spears, a Rockland County mother, charged with murdering her son by poisoning him with salt. But Spears insists the hospital is to blame. 48 Hours, Trey Roberts has the only interview with the mother who says all she did was try to save her son's life. I lost my five-year-old son, and I'm very saddened that I'll never get to watch him grow up. How did your son die? His death certificate says homicide. Much of Garnet Spears' young life was spent seeking medical attention for often unexplained health issues. He was in and out of the hospital for the first nine weeks of his life. And the biggest problem we had was we couldn't get him to eat, so he was losing weight. Garnet had surgery at nine months old to insert a feeding tube. They were hopeful that within time he wouldn't have so much problems eating. In January 2014, five-year-old Garnet was taken again to a hospital. He was admitted with seizure-like symptoms. Later during that hospital stay, Garnet is in distress, stops breathing, and tests showed high levels of sodium, which caused his brain to swell. This is my five-year-old son on life support. Two days later, Garnet is officially declared dead. Doctors could not figure out how Garnet's sodium level had gotten so high unless someone had given him salt. Five months after Garnet's death, Lacey Spears was charged with murder. I didn't kill my son. I never poisoned him with salt. Then why is his sodium level so high? You would have to ask the hospital that. Troy Roberts joins us now. What type of evidence did they have against her? Investigators recovered two feeding bags from Lacey's apartment. There was a gap in the chain of custody, but when they did the analysis of the bags, they found toxic levels of sodium. Uh, the equivalent of 69 uh, small salt packs that you would get at a fast food restaurant in both of the bags. Uh, enough to cr obviously caused great damage to this little boy. His brain swelled and it led to his death. And, and some time before the trial we have now, a reasonable time that before she goes and faces that evidence? She did face the evidence. Right. And we'll show you what happens uh, okay. during the trial a on Saturday night. interview. Okay. Troy right. Roberts, thank right. you so much. You can watch more of Troy Roberts' interview, and it's a good one, Saturday night with Lacey Spears and 48 Hours, tomorrow night, right here on CBS 2 at 10 o'clock.